Hi, I'm Espen Craft, and this, this is the Kawaii PHM, the pop synth module from around 1989, and many people are considering this to be a crappy sounding module. Cheap and not very usable. So I thought to myself, why don't I make a full pop production using only this as a sound module and use all my mixing abilities to make this sound as good as possible? Did I succeed? Well, here's the result. So all the sounds you heard in that song was coming from this sound module, except for my voice of course. And if you're wondering what's going on inside here, well let's take a closer look. 
This Kawaii module was actually a donation given to me a while back from one of my followers. And the keyboard version of this module, the PH50, well, the sounds from these, they really sound like a wavetable synth, and rumors has it it's leftover sounds from the Kawaii K1 at a lower sample rate than in the K1 itself. I'll play you some of them uh, in a moment. And there are 200 tones, 200 preset sounds in this module, and you can just step right through them if you want to and play them from the keyboard. You can also combine tones into combinations of up to four different tones. So you can do some variation with this module. And you have 30 preset rhythm patterns in this module. The patterns themselves are not much to talk about, but the sounds themselves can be accessed through MIDI, as I did in my demo song. You can tune the module itself and you can transpose it uh, up and down one octave. And through the system menu, you can access receive channels, transmit channels, omni on off. You can adjust velocity settings as these sounds do respond to velocity, pans, levels, etc. On the back, you have MIDI in out through and a stereo out. Now, there's very little information online about this pop synth module or the PH50. So if you have intel about these chips, or if they are indeed some sort of K1 light, please say so in the comment section. I'd love to know about that. And since we're on the topic of electronics and circuit boards, I'd like to thank my sponsor for the video, PCBWay. Do you know that a lot of YouTube channels involving electronics and circuit boards, they do get their circuit boards from PCB Way. They ship fast, they ship efficient, and they have a very good pricing and a very good quality control. So I definitely think you should check them out if you have needs in terms of circuit boards for your projects. There's a link in the video description.
Guys, sometimes this is all it takes to make a, a nice pop production. Of course, you can use your high-end stuff, more expensive synths, more expensive samplers, use a multitude of your gear to make the production sound more rich or, or saturated. But I think using a guy like this once in a while can really make a difference in a positive way. So use your imagination, use limitations to, to drive your creativity. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Espen Croft and I am the 80s. And until next time, cheers.